Darcy. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about my deep and unending obsession with Korean dramas. If you don't know what Korean dramas are, I don't know why you're on this channel, but Korean dramas are just Korean TV shows. Unlike American TV shows, Korean TV shows tend to have a beginning and an end. It's kind of like a really long movie. Whereas Western TV shows go on for season after season after season and the writers just keep getting crazier and crazier and there's just no point to any of it. I still watch it though. But while I'm talking about my favorite Korean dramas, I'm going to be putting on my makeup because that's what a get ready with me is. And that is the perfect segue for today's sponsor, Deck of Scarlet. If y'all don't know, Deck of Scarlet is a subscription service that gives you these makeup boxes and each makeup box is a collaboration with a internet personality, vlogger, makeup artist. And this palette that they sent me for this month is one from Okayla. Okayla is a British blogger, if you didn't know, and uh, she made this beautiful palette here. So it comes in like this sleeve here and you just whoop, pop it out. The cover is so pretty. <laughs> oh my God. This is the 14th palette. So if you haven't heard of Deck of Scarlet by now, girl, I don't know where you've been. So Okayla did this very aqua themed palette because my girl's an Aquarius, you know? So she, she had to uh, bring the ocean to this palette, right? So it comes with um, two face colors. Then it has three eyeshadows. And then we have two lip colors, Abyss, and seashell. So I'm going to be using this palette on my eyes and face today, but that's not all ladies and gentlemen. The palette also comes with this all over face gloss. That's right, you can gloss your whole damn face with this bad boy. All right, let's get started. Today I'm going to be taking my Hydro Grip Primer from Milk. You are my destiny. So I went to my sister's house the other day and she was asking me what TV shows I've been watching lately and I had to think really hard to come up with a show that wasn't a Korean drama. And that's when I knew I had a problem. So I've been watching Korean dramas since about 2004 when Full House came out. No, not that Full House. This Full House with Rain and Song Hye Kyo, both of whom are still making dramas to this day. In fact, I just started watching Rain's new drama last night, and it's so good. Are you just yeah? So basically, in this new drama, Rain is a lawyer and he's a defense lawyer for like the scummiest of scumbags. He's basically a walking stereotype of what people think defense lawyers are. Like, like he puts murderers and rapists back on the street. But of course, dealing with those kinds of people, this gets him into quite a pickle. And he ends up in a car accident, which somehow miraculously transports him to a different reality in which he's still married to his ex-wife and he's now a prosecutor and not a defense lawyer. So instead of defending the bad guys, he's putting them in jail. But he still has all his old knowledge from his past life, right? So he knows all the bad guys' secrets and everything. So he has a leg up on everything and he knows what they're about to do and like where all their hideouts are. And everyone's like, how did you know that? And he was like, I don't know. I'm just cool like that. You know, I'm, I'm rain. <laughs> and I feel like this is one of the very few dramas that I've actually enjoyed this year. 2019 has been a really lackluster year for Korean dramas, I feel. You know what the best year for K-dramas was? 2016. 2016, you had Descendants of the Sun, Goblin, W, Legend of the Blue Sea, Moon Lovers, Uncontrollably Fawn, Doctors, Another Miss O, The K2, Comeback Mister. 2016, man, what a year to be alive. Yeah, so I'm watching Rain's new drama right now. What else am I watching? Oh yeah, I'm watching Hotel De Luna as well. And Hotel De Luna is good, but it's not life-changing. A K-drama has to have three things to hook me in. An interesting storyline, amazing chemistry between the two actors, and comedy. Go Back Couple has all three of these things. 
So Go Back Couple is about this married couple that break up and then they get sent back in time to when they met in college as kind of like a do-over. It'll make you laugh, it'll make you cry, it'll make you want to call your ex on the phone. Please don't do that. And it also stars one of my favorite actresses, Jang Nara, who also stars in another drama that I really love called The Last Empress. So I'm going to start using the palette now. I'm going to be taking the color Solar and use that as a base. This is meant to be a cheek color, but you can do whatever you want, girl, okay? Don't let anything stop you. Makeup has no rules, okay? If you want to use a face color as your eyeshadow, you go ahead and do that, girl. Let me zoom in for you guys a little bit. Whoop. Anyways, where was I? Oh yeah, The Last Empress. This show is a wild ride. So basically it's set in like an alternate world where Korea still has a monarchy. So kind of like how England still has a monarchy, it's like that. And this sweet, naive girl gets tricked into marrying the emperor, but it's all a cover up for an even bigger scandal that's going on within the royal family. She gets in the royal family and she starts learning all of their secrets of like murder and affairs, and they be trying to kill her like some Princess Diana stuff. <laughs> They're crazy, she's crazy, everybody crazy. And I always love revenge dramas like this because they always have the craziest scenarios. Like dude gets shot in the face and falls in the water and drowns and he's still alive. Like how is this possible? I, I literally just saw you get shot in the face, bro. He's like, nah, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> this color is like almost the exact same shade as my skin tone, which is a little bit of shimmer. This would be really nice for like an everyday eyeshadow for me. Just a little, you know, just a little enhancement on the eye. I'm gonna go into Atlantis here, the flat side of my brush. This is just like an Anastasia brush that came with the palette. You know how they always come with brushes and Anastasia palettes? One of those. Ooh. Ooh. That's cute. <laughs> Another revenge drama that I really liked is one that probably not a lot of people have heard of, but it's called Black Knight, The Man Who Guards Me. And it's one of those goblin, legend of the sea type shows where the two main characters are fated to be together from like a past life. So the storyline is really, really interesting. I don't want to tell you guys anything because I don't want to spoil anything, but it's a very mystical, mysterious type drama. I really like dramas like that. And of course, there's always got to be some jealous girl always getting in the way of the two characters who are supposed to be together. I do love a good cat fight though, and this drama has some of the funniest. Oh my god, this look is gonna be so 90s. But the real reason that I really like this drama is because of the chemistry between the two main actors. Did y'all see that? Also, Kim Rae Won is damn fine and I will watch anything he's in. Wow, can I be honest guys? I really wasn't too sure about this palette because it's so cool tone and I'm not used to using cool tone stuff, but this is so pretty. This is gonna be like classic 90s. I'm so excited. Now speaking of chemistry, have y'all seen The Great Seducer? Okay, now I know this show got really bad ratings and everyone seemed to hate it, but I loved The Great Seducer. Basically, the plot is based off of Cruel Intentions, which is a classic American movie that I have never seen. But Cruel Intentions is a pretty wild movie, so this drama is gonna be a little 
wilder than your average Korean drama, all right? But that's why I like it. It's cool. It's edgy. It's fresh. <laughs> Girl, let me tell you, there's this one scene where they in the pool and some stuff's about to go down, you know? <laughs> And you know I'll watch anything if Joy is in it. You know one of these scenes I'm just looking at Joy, right? And not the guy. I don't even care about him. I don't even know his name. But yeah, this drama's a little, little, oh, it's a lot mm, for a Korean drama. So if you're not into that and you're more into like the fluffy, cutesy Korean dramas, you might want to stay away from this one and watch I Am Not A Robot instead. I Am Not A Robot is one of the cutest dramas I've ever seen. popular internationally so you've probably already heard about it but if you haven't seen it yet this is what it's about so basically it's about this girl that pretends to be a robot because she looks exactly like the robot that's supposed to be there but the robots broken man I hate it when that happens I hate when my robot that looks exactly like me breaks and then I have to pretend to be the robot all day uh, classic scenario Anyways, she be out here scamming, okay? She trying to scam this billionaire into buying the robot, so she pretended to be the robot or whatever. But the gag is, he's deathly allergic to human touch, so if he touches her, that's it. He did. I'm just gonna take my Morphe powder and bronze this up. That was a lot. Another drama that I really like is this one called ID Gangnam Beauty. And I've talked about the drama before on my channel, I think in another Get Ready With Me like a while ago, like while it was still airing. And I actually heard that some people didn't like this drama and I'm like, hello, how is that possible? This drama is genius. It's genius! I love anything that has social commentary in it. That's another good point for Korean dramas that hook me in. I mean like that's part of like a compelling plot, but those are one of my favorite kinds of plots. Something that gives you some social context. That's why Sky Castle did so well, because it had the perfect social relevance to what's going on in Korea right now. So Sky Castle focuses on the education system, and my idea is Gangnam Beauty is about Korean beauty standards. Okay, let me zoom out now. You guys too close. I need some space! I'm gonna take the all over face gloss now and just, and just, and just gloss all over my face. <laughs> Look how cute that is! Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Anyways, so ID Gangnam Beauty is about this girl who was not conventionally beautiful at all and she decided for her high school graduation to get plastic surgery, which is like a common thing in Korea. Wow, oh, that's really pretty. Oh. Anyways, so she goes to university and she's one of the pretty girls and she can't believe it because she grew up getting made fun of She's really shy and reserved and she's a really really nice person because when you ugly that that's all you got <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put on a really cute nude lip and it follows a bunch of the college kids and all their different like storylines and scenarios and it, it really shows how the way you look really dictates like how people treat you and the way that society sees you and then at the end of the day you know what who cares what people think who cares all that matters is that you love yourself girl mm. and i'm taking 3ce's new nude Now I'm just gonna run a brow gel through my brows. I just got my brows done, so you don't really need much work. And now I'm gonna take Sea Glow, which is the highlighter in the palette, and I'm gonna use that to highlight my inner corners. I 
And then I'm gonna grab Seashell, which is this lip color here. It's just like a nude gloss. And I'm just gonna press that onto my lips. Cause you know in the 90s they always had a lip gloss shop hopping. Well, this is the finished look guys. What do you guys think? I think this came out really cute and it's definitely something really different that I don't usually do on my channel. You guys should definitely go check out Deck of Scarlet. They have a tons of different palettes. They got warm tones, cool tones, they got pinks, they got oranges, they got blues, they got greens, girl, they got everything you want. So definitely visit their website. Everything will be linked down in the description box, obviously. The quality is really good. Like I'd say, it's up there with like Anastasia, MAC, that kind of range. This stuff is definitely worth the price. Anyways guys, let me know what your favorite K-dramas are in the comments down below and maybe if I haven't watched them then I'll go watch some because you know I don't know 2019 has been really dry for K-dramas like mm, I don't know guys it's a weird year it's a weird year but thanks so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget that I love ya so 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 much <laughs>